Hello beautiful people and welcome to your weekly tarot guidance with me Julie Poole. This is for the week of the 19th of October. We're going to pull some cards for a general reading for everyone. Then we're going to add two cards for each of the 12 signs and I will put a link in the timestamps in the description box below. This is a general reading so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't because it's not for you, it'll be for somebody else. All right. If you want a particular reading for you, then you can book in with me and the link is below for that and the cards that I use, everything you need is there. All right, my darlings. So let's bring the camera down and see what we have for the week of the 19th of October. Okay. All right. So we've got the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Mm, they need to go like that. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else they want to bring out we've got the page of wands what else please and the king of wands all right one one more overall energy please overall energy well we're not taking all of them but we will take the top one all right so let's have a look we have got the eight of coins the card of the worker then we've got the three of swords rooted down by the ace of swords so the three of swords is that Oh, I'm not in a good place at all. All right, there's tears, there's upset, there's hurt, but we have got a new beginning underneath it. And Page of Wands, uh, this is all about a new door opening, a new fire, a new passion, a new person for some of you. Let's see what the Lenormand want to add, please. Let's have a couple from the Lenormand, please, for this week of the 19th. Okay, you've got the clock. It's about timing, my darlings, timing. And the ring, which is a gift, a blessing, something wonderful coming in. And from the energy cards, please. What do we have from the energy cards? Okay, we've got deceit. And we've got the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. The fourth chakra is your heart, by the way. All right, now let's have a look making sense of this for my beautiful people for this week of the 19th of October. So we've got Mercury in retrograde at the moment, so communication might be a little bit fractious. But this to me is looking like moving past a hurt. We've got Deceit here and we've got the Three of Swords, both are cards of struggle. Um, but the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, this is talking about coming from your heart, the heart to be able to heal, to forgive, to let go. Now, forgiving doesn't necessarily mean you've got to be with the person and stay with the person that has hurt and deceived you. But it does mean that you forgive yourself because generally what you're getting here for some of you is that you're blaming yourself for not seeing that deceit. So I want you to forgive yourself, be kind and compassionate with you. There is a new beginning wanting to come in. All right, you are working on it. You're already working on it. So I feel this is old energy. Um, probably August, early September. I feel this is a few weeks ago for most of you. For some of you, it's further back. But it's this is what you've been working on. The Eight of Coins is the card of the worker, the grafter. And what are you working on? Getting past that hurt, getting over the hurt and being able to move on and have that new beginning that that Ace of Swords wants to bring in for you. Beautiful card, just gorgeous. This is the Sword of Truth, uh, surrounded with these beautiful angel wings. This is blessing saying it's time. Look, everything that was done, everything that's passed is finished now. It's time for us to let it go and it's time to move on. So we have that page wanting to come in, the Page of Wands, wanting to bring in this new beginning for a fresh start, a brand new beginning. Now, for some of you, this will be about a job because it's ones, but this is about life and just feeling uplifted, empowered, inspired. This is a door opening, a door to your power because it's rooted down by the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is all about that power. Yeah, he's He's so fiery, He not in um, an angry way, but in a passionate way. 
he believes in himself and he believes in his dreams that's coming through for some of you very strongly please believe in you and believe in your dreams and don't give up on them because of previous hurts all right this is previous and so if we can let this go which is what they're asking you to do let it go you've done the work all right this is i feel really strongly you've done the work and very often we don't realize we've done the work. So please know that you have, and you're now ready for a new door to open for you to come into your power, but you have to believe in you. Now, with this deceit card I wanna to come to next, this is linked in here with the Three of Swords. So, you know, we do get deceived. It's not because we're stupid or naive. It's because we see the best in situations. We have a lot of hope, a lot of positivity. And there are some people who will really take advantage of that. And, you know, they can be very manipulative. They can be extremely clever, um, highly intelligent and very, very good at pulling the wool over your eyes. So if you've been blaming you because somebody has let you down, promised you something they didn't deliver and you believed them and believed in them, it's time to let it go, that you take the lesson, you take the learning and you say, OK, that was an unpleasant experience, but... I don't want to not trust anybody and I certainly don't want to not trust myself. I want to learn from this and then move on. And I'm moving on by focusing on my heart. Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing, all right? So we are healing the heart from that hurt, from that deceit. You know, and sometimes, you know, somebody else has deceived us, but we deceived us as well because we didn't want to look at it. And we get it. We get it. All right. But it's time now for you to heal and let go. It's time. And that's the time clock. Right. It's time. How much longer are you going to spend on the past, on people who've let you down? This might have been from childhood, from your mum or dad letting you down. It's time to let it go. It's time to let go. Okay, that's really strong this week. And the ring is a gift. Now, for some of you, this can be a ring, an engagement ring, um, you know, marriage proposal. Absolutely. With it being next to the heart chakra and the king of wands, we've got, you know, fire, power, loving, beautiful, warm, open heart. For some of you, it is time to take your relationship to the next level. It's time to open up. And it's time to allow love back in. For many of you, love wants to come in. The timing is now. The door opening to passion. The previous deceit that can go. It's time. Is there anything else you want me to say on that? They want an angel card. All right, let's have a little look. All right, who's with my beautiful watchers this week? And what's the main message coming from the angelic realms? Raziel with intuition. They are asking you to use your intuition to focus on your higher self, that Godhood, God force within you, that all the answers are in you. Trust your intuition. They're also telling me for some of you, try not to make anything happen. Instead, I want you to allow it to be. All right, what's meant to be will be. So tr stop trying to perhaps working too hard on things, trying to make things happen. Instead, I want you to trust your intuition and allow it, allow it. All right, okie dokie. So let's bring the camera back up to both of us. So we're going to pause it there and now I'm going to add two cards for each of the 12 signs and I will timestamp them below. Okie dokie, hello Aries, and what time are we for Aries? Aries 9.16, hello my beautiful people. Let's see, what do we have for Aries in addition to what we've already got, please? And you have the Page of Wands again, you've got it twice now guys, and the Five of Wands. This is a card of competition, options opening up for you, but you're going to have to compete, all right? So the Page of Wands, and you've got it twice now Aries, all right? A door opening, an offer, an opportunity that absolutely could be relating to work, business, um, starting your own business for some of you. 
but I'm picking up some worrying about the competition. I want you to let that go. All right. Let other people worry about them. You don't worry about you. Focus on you. All right. So the five of ones is a card of competition. There's oh, there's so many other people after that same job or there's, you know, so many other businesses in trouble. You're focusing on everybody else. I want you to not focus on everybody else. Focus on you, my loves. All right. Because there is that option, that opening for you with that page and so grab it any opportunities that come through for you the week of this 19th of October um, and we are moving on the 22nd into Scorpio different energy again I want you to just grab any opportunities and let go of any competition and worrying about other people thinking instead it's my time you know look at that card down here right it's my time and so let go of the competition and know it's your time. There's a gift coming and it's time for you now to be able to take things forward, things opening up. And so it's a good week for you, Aries. That's what I have for you. Hello, Taurus. All right, my darling people, let's have a look. What do we have for Taurus in addition to what we have, please? What's for Taurus? Thank you. Okay, we've got the Queen of Cups and the Hermit. So you are very much focused this week, Taurus, on your emotional stability, your emotional... Ah, I'm in a good place. Why am I in a good place? Because I've spent a bit of time going within. I've done the bit of the Hermit mode. I've spent a bit of time in reflection, contemplation, meditation. You've gone within to figure out what is your happiness? Now, for some of you, they're just telling me enough. Time in again. We're back to the time in. Enough going within. Enough of the hermit mode. Enough of the isolation. It's time for you to now take what you've learned from all that beautiful internal work that you've been doing. And we've got that eight of pentacles over there, the worker card. You've been working on your internal self, but it's time now to start reaching out. That's coming through quite strongly. Time to come away from that isolation, contemplation, and now more participative, getting involved with life again. That's the message I have for you, Taurus. I hope that helps. All right, let's move on to Gemini. Hi, Gemini. How are you? All right, let's have a look. What do we have for Gemini, please? We've got Temperance and the Knight of Cups. All right, so we have got action on your happiness. Needing to take some, a some action in order to bring your life into balance, all right? Because the temperance card is about moderation and balance and flow. So there's some area of your life where there's not much flow. In fact, they're showing me almost a dry riverbed with a little tiny trickle. Is this love? Is this money? What area this is for you is going to be different things for different people. But something is almost stagnant and we want it to start flowing. So we're going to take some action here with that Knight of Cups on your happiness. So I want you to look at your life in different areas, whether it's relationships, love, money, work, whatever it is for you, and say, right where does it feel like a dry riverbed and I want to start turning the water on and getting it to flow uh, in order to bring back that balance that's the message I have for you my loves all right let's move on to cancer hi cancer let's see what we have for cancer please what do we have for cancer please for this week of the 19th we've got the hermit again and the sun oh okay all right cancer this is a beautiful energy you've done the work um this is what they eight that card there is the worker you've been working on you because that hermit says i've been going within i've been figuring out what's important to me where my happiness is how i can become happier i've been working on this internally and now i'm ready for my light to shine you've also been working on your power because we've got the king of wands here we are the page of wands there's a lot of power um, and with the timing it's the timing is now um, this is it's time for you to take this forward cancer time for you to step into your light 
uh, to come out of hermit mode and come out and shine brightly. That's a channeled message. Shine brightly. All right, Cancer, it's your time to shine brightly. Any of you in the public arena, public eye, um, this is your time to shine. At work, if you are working, this is the week that you start being noticed because you're shining. Your bosses are noticing you. People that are in the know are noticing you. It's your time to shine. All right. Okay, Cancer, that's what I have for you. Let's move on to Leo. Hi, Leo. All right, what do we have for Leo, please? What's the message for Leo? Okay, we've got the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles. So, Leo, you've got the Seven and the Eight of Pentacles because the Eight is in the general here. All right, you're taking these and adding. So, you've been growing something, building something, working on something, and that Seven of Pentacles is saying all that hard work is about to pay off. It's with the Empress. Now, she is giving birth to a new creative project, a new idea. Um, this can be a new home, a new baby. We are working on here. Yeah, all right. They're just showing me acorns being put into the ground and um, oak trees springing up. And normally an oak tree would take 300 years to get to it where it is. But they're saying you put the work in and those little acorns are on steroids. They're going to grow really fast. Whatever it is you're working on at the moment, Leo, this is the week where it's going to start really sprouting um, and bearing fruit. So keep doing what you're doing um, because you're nearly there. All right, my darlings. Let's move on to Virgo. Hi, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo, please, for this week of the 19th of October? Okay, you've got the Eight of Swords. You're stuck with something and the Seven of Pentacles. Leo just had Seven of Pentacles. So you've got that Eight of Pentacles there. You're working on something. You're working on growing your abundance, growing a project, birthing something here the seven of pentacles is about timing and we've got the timing card here as well so you're feeling stuck as a very virgo card it's like when is it going to happen i when i made my mind up i want it yesterday not tomorrow this is impatience right so you're feeling stuck and frustrated about why you can't make something happen but it's about timing right you put the work in it will flourish and it will grow when the timing is correct it's it, whatever you're working on here whether it's yourself a project a business your income whatever it is you're working on virgo it's going to flourish so stop being impatient and feeling that you're stuck and just saying look anything that is growing it it, it can grow a little bit slowly and other times it can suddenly have a growth spurt and sprout up like a weed it can grow really fast but it will happen when divine timing is aligned when I'm aligned when divine timing is aligned sometimes it isn't just about me I might be ready but the universe has got to line up other things outside of my control so I'm going to let go and let God that's your message for this week Virgo let go and let God all right Libra hi Libra what do we have for Libra please for this week of the 19th that's the three of wands there and the seven of swords. All right, Libra, you are coming away from restriction, coming away from deception, uh, coming away from looking at these other cards where you felt um, a little bit barren they're giving me the word barren all right barren in what way you may be at work and be feeling that it's not fulfilling uh, it's empty all right barren is another word for empty like a desert all right you're coming away from that um, yeah they are showing me a drought so whatever drought it might have been a drought in love it might have been a drought in friendships a drought whatever the drought is for you you're coming away from the drought now the seven of swords is the card of deception and we have that other card here of deceit so whether you've been deceiving yourself whether somebody has been deceiving you whether you've been waiting on 
a promise um, to get out of that drought. You know, perhaps, for example, some of you may have been asking for a pay rise and your boss is saying, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll look at that. Well, yeah, 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 we'll look at that. And then they never do. And so you're waking up saying it's never going to happen. I'm not waiting for them anymore. I'm moving on. Now, Libra, you've got that three of wands, which is the traveller trips expansion your ships coming in you're going to be looking in other areas so those of you that the barren desert is at work you feel very bored and unfulfilled and unstimulated this is the week you're looking outside to see what else is out there um, for those of you with relationships where it's very barren you are starting to push that forward doesn't necessarily necessarily mean you're leaving the relationship but you are put you're putting the work in can't get my words out Libra sorry you're putting the work in to be able to um, come away from that desert part so if this is my relationship feeling barren how can I bring the flow back bring the harmony back bring the heart back take those cards and add these to it all right because this is the week you are leaving that behind and you are going into expansion all right Libra let's have a look at Scorpios hi Scorpio Hello Scorpio. Right, what do we have for Scorpio please? We've got the Judgment card and the Seven of Swords. And happy birthday to any Scorpios this week, very early Scorpios. The Seven of Swords just came out for Libra. It's so interesting when we have the same card coming out for two suits running. That's going to apply for those of you on the cusp in the first three or four days of um, uh, of Libra all right so you know the first few days of Scorpio because that seven of swords is there again it's the deceit card and we've got the deceit card there whether this is that you have been deceived by somebody else or whether you've deceived yourself by being overly patient overly understanding overly compassionate and then you kind of wake up and go oh what somebody's taken me for a ride here patience gone I'm off I'm out all right that seven of swords is leaving it behind you and moving towards a fresh start that judgment is the rebirth card the rising up from the ashes the putting it all behind you the letting it go this is the time especially now this week as we're coming into your birthday season this is your new year's day your new year what are you setting your intentions for the next year what are you letting go and what are you opening yourself up to come in because because there is a rebirth here and that's a beautiful perfect card for the beginning of Scorpio season perfect all right let's have a look at Sagittarius hi Sagittarius all right what do we have for Sagittarius please tell me about my Sagis and we've got the four of cups with the nine of wands all right so we're not going to dress this up this isn't a great week for Sagittarius all right not every week can be full of charm and blessings and wonderful things, um, even though we have got the ring there. Um, but these are two cards of <sighs> meh. Um, so the Four of Cups, well, it's all right. You know, it could be worse. But is it my dream life? Absolutely not. Um, I'm missing something here. I am i don't feel fulfilled. I don't feel life has meaning. Uh, whether this is your relationship, your job, your friendships, your home, whatever it means for you, you are dissatisfied and disillusioned. And it's hard work. It's with that nine of wands, which is the battle weary soldier of, do you know what? I'm just going to come down onto my knees and give up for a minute. Now, we all have those minutes and sometimes we have those days and that's fine. If I'm having a bad day, I'm allowed to have a bad day. I'm allowed to have a little pity party, right? Nothing wrong with that. But don't let that bad day turn into a bad week, bad month, bad year. All right. So acknowledge it. Look at it for yourself. And that deceit card, if you're deceiving yourself that it's re all right, really, no, it's not all right, really, because these cards are saying, no, it's not. There is a coping mechanism, as I put my therapist hat on here for you, a coping mechanism of playing down something that's a bit yucky. It's a very effective coping mechanism when something is yucky. We say, oh, it doesn't really matter. It's fine. All right. We brush it off, shrug it off. But while we're doing that, we can't deal with it. 
and we can't change it. So we end up just putting up with it and putting up with it and putting up with it. And that for you, Sag, is what I think that deceit card is about. It's time for you to open your eyes and say, do you know what? This is pretty shit, frankly, and I don't want to do this anymore. So what do I need to do to make changes? So this is the week you're being honest with yourself and you are looking at your life all right it's not all of your life hopefully no not not for very most of you it's not for all of you, all areas of your life but it might be that this is a situation at work or this is a situation in your relationship or this is the situation for being single for way too long all right it's lovely to be single for a while it's good for us i'm a huge advocate that everybody should spend at least a year on their own building a relationship with themselves but when it goes on for two years five years ten years more then it's not a good place to be all right that's when we shut down and shut everybody out and that's not a good place to be so whatever it means for you it's time for this to change okay that's the message i have for you sagittarius let's move on to my capricorns hi capricorn what do we have for capricorn please what's the message for capricorn we're not taking all of those in fact, we'll put them in and start again. Two cards, please, for Capricorn. I will choose them. All right. We've got the King of Swords. And we've got the Seven of Swords. That's the third time the Seven of Swords has come out in the last four readings. Okay, four signs. So the Seven of Swords is, again, the Deceit card. Deceit, deception. I've had enough. I'm moving on, I'm putting it behind me and it's coming in here with that king of swords, that truth of swords, truth of swords, sword of truth. <laughs> so Capricorn, you've had enough of being messed about, you've had enough of being taken for granted, you've had enough of being lied to, you've had enough of the BS around you and you're saying no. I'm using that ace of sword, the sword of truth and I'm going to use my king energy which is very much the boss lawyer. I'm, I'm in charge. I'm not doing it. I am finding something new and I am moving on. This is a card of moving on. So Capricorn, you're moving on this week. You're putting something behind you. Timing wise, it's time. All right. Let's have a look at Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. Aquarius, please. Okay. Well, you're moving on as well, Aquarius. So there's lots of moving on for a lot of people this week. Six of Swords, leaving behind the toxicity, the trouble, the drama, the pain. You know what we said here, it's moving it on now into a brand new cycle. I'm leaving it behind. I'm not looking back and I am moving into smoother waters. There's the full moon there. Now, we haven't got a full moon this week, but... Um, there are two full moons in, no two full moons in October we've got a lot of that full moon energy um, and I'm feeling that mm, that full moon on Halloween on the 31st that's where you want to have been gone from whatever it was you want to be gone by the end of the month you're working towards that you're working towards the new beginning here with the wheel of fortune which is good luck good fortune new cycles new karmic cycles it's time it's time aquarius to put it behind you and move on all right my darlings let's go to pisces hi pisces what do we have for Pisces, please, for this week of the 19th? We've got the High Priestess and the Six of Swords. Six of Swords just came out for Aquarius. Seems to be a bit of a pattern. Um, you you, prob you won't have watched all of them. You'll just click to your own sign. But, um, yeah, this is a bit of a pattern where two signs next to each other are getting the same card. There's a crossover of energy here. Right now, the way I've put these cards out, they're telling me is relevant. So the Six of Swords is coming away, leaving something behind you. And I've actually got the High Priestess behind me. Some of you are turning your back on your spirituality, on your higher self, on the divine. Um, some of you are saying, do you know what? I put a lot of faith and trust in the universe and they haven't looked after me and I'm just 
putting my back to it now. That's for some of you. That's because you've lost a little bit of faith and a little bit of hope. Some of you may have lost your job and you've been praying, like, please make sure I don't lose my job at the end of furlough. Please make sure that I'm safe. And then you lose your job and you lose your faith then in the universe. But please don't, my loves, please trust that if you've lost your job, it was meant to go. And instead of putting your back to your spirituality, face it and say thank you for help guiding me forward, right? That six of swords is moving into better times, away from troubled waters, away from toxicity and trusting your higher self to guide you to a better place at the right time in divine timing. All right, that is what I have for you, Pisces. So thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate you being here and I will look forward to seeing you next week. You take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.